Great news! Capricorn, America's favorite alien exchange student, is starring in some other new fun educational films. Capstone Entertainment and Safe Kids have created a whole series of Capricorn's adventures. In future movies, Corny will learn from Earth friends like you about all kinds of great things like honesty and self-esteem. Don't miss Corny's future movies, and remember, Safe Kids are no accident. Genius in picking the correct number. We salute a true Zarconian winner. So let us be sure we have everything you have asked for. One box of pen nibs, a rim of white pepper, a dozen assorted birthday greeting cards. We? Oui? Oh, I shall send them over immediately. John! No, no. How many jelly beans do you think are in this jar? About four gazillion. Zarks! I really want to win this contest. I see you are pondering uh, the jelly beans. Am I correct to assume you are thinking of winning this contest? Oh, gee, Mr. Sanders, I'd love to win this contest. Then I can buy a new skateboard. How am I supposed to guess the exact number? If I told you that, there would be no contest. <laughs> you have to figure it out yourself. I know, Mr. Sanders, but Zarks, that's a tough one. Uh-huh. Let's go ask Grandpa. He knows everything. We've got to examine all the clues. It would seem to me it depends on how fresh they are. What would that have to do with it? Well, because, you know, fresh jelly beans are soft and sticky and they all squash together. But old jelly beans are hard and stale and they don't squash. Not as many could fit into the jar. Good point. Grandpa's a super detective. When I was a little girl, he always knew who was sneaking cookies from the cookie jar. And he was the only dad in the neighborhood to dust the cookie jar for fingerprints. Uh, John, do you suppose um, I could borrow your new skateboard? Kate said she was going to give me a skateboarding lesson. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to think about it. Please. I'll get it. How long are you going to have to think? Corny, patience. Hello, hi, hi Larry. How are you? Hi, it's a pleasure. I was just wondering if I could speak to the boys about something. Oh, sure, just a sec. John, Corny, Mr. Springfield's here to see you. <laughs> hi, Mr. Springfield. Hi, guys. Mrs. Springfield and I are going away on a vacation tomorrow. We're just wondering if we get somebody to take care of our pets while we're gone. Just for a week. Mr. Springfield, you have a lot of pets. Yes, three dogs, two cats, six dragonfish, a cockatoo, two turtles, a ferret, a lemur, a boa constrictor, and two mice, to be precise. Well, actually, you don't have to take care of all of the pets. We're taking the three dogs, the two cats, the six dragonfish, the lemur, the cockatoo, the ferret, and the boa constrictor are going with us. It's the mice we're concerned with. Why aren't you taking the mice? Well, because with all the others in the car, there wouldn't be any room. All you have to do is feed them once a day and give them plenty of water. 
If you don't, they'll get all dried out and wheezy. It, it, wheezy mice? Not good. That's right. I don't know. I have baseball practice every day after school. I will. I will. Oh, please, Mr. Springfield, please. I'll take good care of the mice. Do you know that back home on my planet, I once took care of a Flamubian Mira? I'll be a good babysitter. I'll feed them. I'll pet them. I'll sing to them. I'll rock them to sleep at night. I'll even make them little clothes. I'm a good sewer. Well, you got the job. <laughs> Come on to my house tomorrow at night, and I'll show you what to do. I'll be there. Great. Thanks a lot. There's two mouses in the houses. Two mouses in the house. Two, yeah. two mouses with mice. Mice. There's two mices in the house. No, no. Two mice. Mice. Not mice. There's mice. No. Mice. no. I can't find anything. I hope I don't have to be anywhere on time. Ah, no good. No, no. If you'd pick up your dirty clothes and put them in the hamper and you'd hang up your clean ones, you'd always be able to find what you need. Okay, Mrs. E, I get it. Corny, you used to be so neat. How can you find anything in here? I know where everything is. Oh, I don't see how you could. Well, I do. Whew. I just don't know exactly where everything is. There must be a clean pair of overalls around here somewhere. Oh! Look at that! Okay, they'll do. Oh, there you are. Do you see what a mess you've made of this room? Oh, don't cry. I still love you. Hi, Mrs. Springfield. Getting ready for your trip? Cool! Hey, Mrs. Springfield! Hey, good morning, Corny! Good morning! <laughs> Ooh, they sure are cute! What are their names? Well, this one's name's Honey Bunny, and the white one's named Geraldine. It, Mr. Springfield, they're both white. I know, and my wife swears she could tell them apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Look, Corny, make sure you keep plenty of feet in the dish and fresh water in the bottle. Maybe you should be writing this down. No need to, Mr. Springfield. I've got a great memory. Oh, we keep the grain in this little plastic lunch box so the insects can't get to it. Right. And mice also like little bits of fruit and vegetables. Fruits and veggies. Got it. Mm-hmm. And also, you have to clean the aquarium, right? Just take out the dirty wood shavings, wipe the bottom with soapy water, and rinse well. Easy. No problem. Then, you put in clean wood shaving. Here's the bag, the one with the bright red tag. Got it. The bag with the bright red tag has the wood that is good. It's a lot to remember. No problem, Mr. Springfield. I've got it all right up, uh, here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Springfield, you sure do take good care of your pets. Hey, they're my friends, Corny. We're all going to be real famous together someday. Ooh. Do you think I might get to see their act one day? Hey, they're doing it right now, Corny. Huh? See? Look at them go. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I can't wait to see them when they're in costume. I'll make sure you get free ticket. I want to give you something, too, Mr. Springfield. It's my Zarconian pet. He won't bite. Uh, he wants to go camping with you. You see, that way we both have exchange pets. Take good care of him now. I sure will, Corny, and I'll give you $20 for taking care of my mice. $20? Holy Zarconi! I'm saving up to buy a skateboard, and that's sure going to help out a lot. Don't you worry, Mr. Springfield. I'll take great care of your mice. <laughs> See you later. Have a great trip. Hey, oh, 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 Corny. What's that? Aren't you forgetting something? What? Oh, uh. the mice. <laughs> Just testing you. <laughs> Have a good trip. Oh, uh, thank you. Bring me back a souvenir. I will do. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're both so good about doing your training. You're cute. Oh, uh, by the way, Miss Springfield dropped off this instruction sheet in case you need it. Oh, Corny. Only animals about to be cooked are allowed in my kitchen. <laughs> Not Geraldine and Honey Bunny! Oh, oh, Geraldine and Honey Bunny will be hot dogs and beans if you leave them in here. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Can you put the instruction sheet in a safe place? That way you won't lose it. 
Mrs. E? Mm-hmm. What's for dinner tonight? Casserole surprise. What's the surprise? Oh, oh no! Where are you, boy? Here we are! Your new home! Well, sort of. Let's see. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> on the floor? Stuff is already on the floor. Oh no, my marbles are everywhere. I'll pick them up. No, you won't. Sorry. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, hi. Is that you, Corny? Yeah. Hey, Grandpa, you want to come see my mice? They're really cute. They got pink little ears and a long pink tail and long white whiskers, and they go around on a wheel. They're going to be in the circus. You're looking after little critters now, are you? Yes. We're going to have so much fun. Fun? Oh, that's not all you're going to have. What do you mean? Looking after living things is a great responsibility. I mean, when you uh, have pets, it's a big responsibility. They could get lost, they could get sick, they could, they could be roadkill, they could be eaten by a cat or even worse. I'll see you later, Grandpa. I gotta go check on my mice. This week, we're learning about responsibility. Now, who can tell me what responsibility is? Kate. Well, when my babysitter takes care of me, my mom says that she's responsible for me. That's right, Kate. When we're young, our parents and other adults are responsible for us. And as we get older, then we have to start taking responsibility for ourselves. Now, here is a list of assignments to help us learn about responsibility. I want you to pick one and turn it in by Friday. Yes, Kate. John and I are going to share the responsibility of taking care of an egg. Excellent, the egg project. Now you both realize that you have to take that egg with you wherever you go. And that means 24 hours a day. But it will help teach you the kind of responsibility required for taking care of a baby. It's a little harder than it sounds, but I think it's a wonderful idea. We can do it, right John? Corny, have you decided on a project? Yes, I have. I've decided to do my project on how to take care of something of my very own. You know, back on Zarkon, I have my own spaceship. That's great. That's great because I just happen to have a book about spaceships. And I will loan it to you. What a co-winky dink. You like spaceships too? Well, they're not exactly like ours on Zarkon, but with a little souping up, you never know. Tony, why are you going to pick up your stuff? What stuff? Hey, guys. Hey, Kate. I brought over an egg. It's your turn to keep it now, John. Can't believe I let you talk me into this dumb project. Babysitting an egg? For God's sake. It's not dumb. All you gotta do is take care of it for one week. Hey, Kate, come here. I want to show you something. Right. I got a job taking care of some of Mr. Springfield's pets. Aren't they cute? Their names are Geraldine and Honey Bunny. Oh, it looks like Honey Bunny is a little bit bigger than Geraldine. Can't find my paper. You know the one I wrote about taking care of the egg? I had it on the desk. Oh, don't worry, John. I'll find it. Let's see here. Hmm. So, Corny, have you started your project on spaceships? Huh? How do you take care of a spaceship anyways? Simple. You just don't lose it and you keep it clean. Now, where was that book? I couldn't find it yesterday. Ah! Here it is! <gasps> Zarks! The pages are all sticky. 
pickle juice. I must have spilled some. I have to clean it. Oh, there's just so much to do, I don't know where to start. Corny, Corny, you need a plan. Okay, first, wash the book. Wash the book, right. And then clean the mouse house. Clean the mouse house, right. And then clean your room. What a great plan. Come on, Kate. Let's go figure out how to take care of this dumb egg. Let's see, Corny. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks, Kate. I'm going to clean up right away. I am. I really am. Now, let's see here. Where to begin? Oh, here we go. Well, I'll need hangers for these. Oh. How about these books here? I... Whoa! Oh, cool. Ah, alloy rims. It's lucky for you boys that your mom decided to sleep in. So, tell me, what do you think of these eggs? Uh, very uh, interesting, Grandpa. I've never seen eggs like these before. Oh, well, I decided to poach them in the microwave to save time, you know? No, not the microwave! For a minute there, I thought you baked my school project. So I put the egg in the microwave to keep it warm and safe. Lucky I knew about the project or that egg might have wound up in your plate. When you're working on something, you've got to keep a close eye on it. Hey, John, how are you going to take care of this egg all week? Uh, I, I think I'll just have to take my job seriously. So uh, how did the mice like breakfast? Breakfast? Uh, they love their breakfast. And uh, thank you for your breakfast, Grandpa. Well, I know what it's like to be a working man with responsibilities, even if they are four-legged ones. Well, I'm kind of full, Grandpa. Um, thanks again for breakfast. I'll see you guys later. Now I know where rubber chickens come from. Jack, yeah, I know you're hungry. Quit yelling at me. Um, oh no, where is my destruction sheet that Mr. Springfield gave me? Destruction sheet. <laughs> it's got to be around here somewhere. You need to pick up your things. I know, I know. I'll clean up today. Hey, John, look. I found your homework paper. Great. Come on, let's go. Okay. Here. Oh. Need to keep it in the same place. That way you always know where it is. Now come on. I better test my zapper. Your projects are due at the end of this week. Alicia, Roger, and Corny, this is a chance for you to pull your grades up by doing a good job. Please, do your best. I'm going to do a great job this time. What happened to this book? Ah, uh, I spilled pickle juice on it, and I tried to clean it like John told me to do. You know, in the washing machine. <laughs> Corny... That's not what I meant. You can't put a book in the washing machine. I know that now. It comes out all wrinkled. Corny, I am not going to be able to put this back on my shelf. But I didn't do it on purpose. No, I know that, Corny. But when you borrow something that belongs to someone else, you have to be more responsible than if it were your own. 
Well, I guess I thought that if I didn't tell you about it and just tried to fix it myself, you never would know about the mistake. I guess I just made it worse by not telling you. If you had told me, then I could have given you some ideas about how to fix it. Taking responsibility means admitting you made a mistake. Zarks! I guess the next time I borrow a book, I better stay off the pickle juice. <laughs> John! John! Wait up! Mrs. Jones said I don't have to do the project on the spaceship on account of I messed up the book and all. She said I could do a report on mice. So I have to go to the library, and I was wondering, do you think I could borrow your skateboard? Please, 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 please. I guess so. Oh. As long as you promise to clean up our room. I will, I will. Okay, take good care of it. It's the best one I ever had. Thank you, John. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You better go home and get your helmet. And be careful on the hills. Oh, and don't go too fast. I will. I mean, I won't. <laughs> Zarks! I just remembered I didn't feed the mice. I'm such a Zarkle head. Oh, well. Hey, stop. Think. Why should I walk when I can ride? But I don't have a helmet or knee pads. Oh, well. See you later. Ugh. Sorry. Be careful. Thanks, John. See you later. Again, let's see. The box with the locks has what's nice for the mice, and the bag with the tag has the wood that is good. There, that's it. The box with the locks has what's good for the mice, and the bag with the tag has the food that is wood. Now, wait a minute. The, the box with the fox has the dice for the mice, and the, 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 the rag in the bag has the food for the brood? <laughs> oh, I'll just have to wing it, I guess. There sure are a lot of toothpicks in this thing you're making. Precisely 1,950. I'm building a castle for the mice. Do you think they'll like it? They'll love it, I think. Hey, Grandpa, we need some advice. Oh, I love to give free advice. It's about the mice. See, I was so excited when Mr. Springfield was giving me the disinstructions that I can't remember a thing he said. I just wanted to do a good job. Oh, I'm sure you did. But you see, good intentions are sometimes not enough. You have to listen to those instructions. Now, let me think. I have something I want to show you. These were John's baby shoes. Now, do you think you could fit into those? They're too small. When I was a detective, oftentimes I had to do just that. Put on baby shoes? No, no, no. But put myself into somebody else's shoes. I had to imagine that I was that person. I had to think like I was that person. And I solved many a crime that way. Now, in this case, I think you should put on the mouse's shoes. Put on the mouse's shoes? I get it. So that I can try to imagine what the mice feel like. So that I can figure out what they need. How do I do that? Oh, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. But... Okay, Grandpa. Thanks. I mean it. Thanks. See you later. You ready for your lesson? You bet! Oh, but I really should feed the mice first. That's fine. Go ahead. Ah, they'll be fine. I'll be out in a nanosecond. I'm ready. Hey, Bruno! Guess what? Kate's gonna teach me how to ride a skateboard. Bruno! You should pick up your things. Otherwise, people are gonna think you're a slob. I have this now. Thank you. <sighs> These aren't my toys. These were left here by the poodle next door. Let's give it a shot. Okay. 
Now, watch me and do exactly what I did. Exactly okay. what you did. Right. Oh, you used your feet. Got it. <laughs> All right, it's no sweat. I think I got the hang of it now. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right, I push off with my foot, right? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Ooh. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, that's it. That's pretty. How am I doing? Uh, that's it. Uh, no. Oh, no. Uh, that's it. That's it. That was doing so good. Hey, 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 hey. I think that's all I can take, uh, uh, learn today, Kate. You want to try some more tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Maybe. All right. See you later, Corny. See you later, Kate. Practice, practice, practice. Hey, it's for nothing. My skateboard! I just went to skateboard oh. heaven, honey. Oh. Uh, it's roadkill on wheels. <laughs> Courtney, how could you just leave my skateboard in the driveway? When you borrow something, you have to take care of it! I'm sorry, John! Oh. I'm such an ozone head! John! John, wait a second! Corny? Hey, Corny. Hey. Corny? Yeah? Is this screen supposed to be off? I don't know. Well, I only see one mouse in there. What happened to Geraldine? Oh, no. No. Corny, you lost one of the mice. I told you this would happen if you didn't take care of things. All right, all right. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm going to replace John Seaford. I lost the Springfield pet. Oh, time to zap out of here. <laughs> Hey, kid, what is there to eat around here? I'm hungry enough to eat a... a say, what are you anyway? Just a yucky tasting kid from Zarkon. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. I'll eat grains and pieces of fresh vegetable and fruit. Are you a vegetable? I haven't eaten for so long. I'll eat anything. Vegetables? Grains? Fruits? Geraldine? Is that you? Yeah, but don't call me Geraldine. I hate that name. Oops, sorry. Uh, what's that terrible smell? You never cleaned my home. And why didn't you ever feed me and Honey Bunny? Well, it's too late for you now. Stand still so I can eat you. I said, I said, yeah, stand the still. Stand I'm safe. I broke it. It's my fault. Stop me out of here. Geraldine, I'm so glad you're all right. Come here, Geraldine. Here we go. Now, I know you're hungry, and I know you're angry at me about your dirty home. And I know I should treat you guys better. You know something? Instead of just talking about it, I should do something.
it's your responsibility to do the things you say you're gonna do. If you're going to help out a neighbor or a friend, it's up to you to see it through each day until the end. And if you borrow something, remember it's alone. Treat it with the best of care, better than your own. It's your responsibility to put your things away. It's your responsibility to do the things you say. If you're going to do a job, you have to follow through. It's your responsibility to do the things you say you're gonna do. Take care of what belongs to you and do it every day. Show you are responsible and things will go your way. Well, everybody makes mistakes, don't try to hide the truth. Show your friends you'll do your best and they'll depend on you. It's your responsibility. To put your things away It's your responsibility To do the things you say If you're going to do a job You have to follow through It's your responsibility To do the things you say you're gonna do can be trusted friends will count on you growing up is not so hard to do it's your responsibility to put your things away it's your responsibility in the bag. Hey, I'm a mine. Let me out of here. Hey, what's an alien gonna do to get a little respect around here? <sighs> what are you doing? and putting myself in your shoes to see how you feel. I trusted you. And you let my skateboard get wet. How do you think I feel? You're right to be mad at me, John. I didn't take care of your skateboard. But I'm gonna buy you another one. How? You don't have any money. I got some. And Mr. Springfield's going to pay me $20. It's not enough. I know. But I'm going to get you one somehow. I'm just so mad at myself for making you so unhappy. Me and my egg have to go to the library. You want to come? A book on mice. Ooh, but first, I want to take these mice out for some fresh air. I can change the wood shavings when I get home. Like all animals, mice need fresh air and sunlight. 
If you keep your pet in a terrarium, don't leave him in direct sunlight. Let's go over to Sanders' store. I want to check out the jelly bean contest. Oh, good idea. Uh, uh, for the meatballs, I'm afraid you'll have to speak with Mr. Olson, the butcher. Uh-huh. Very good. Goodbye now. Remember what Grandpa said? Right. The fresher they are, the more they squash together. The older they are, they don't squash so much. Hello, boys. Are you ready to make a judgment on the yellow beans in the yard? Uh, I guess so. Uh -huh. And you, Corny, are you ready as well? Uh, no, not really, but uh, I guess there isn't much time left, is uh, there? <laughs> time is running swiftly away, um, I think. Um, uh, if I were you, I'd be making my guest very, very shortly. Um, I suppose you're afraid to make a guess, eh? I am Quite. not. Uh, I, I, I'm ready to guess now. Yeah. But before I do, um, do you suppose I could have one of the jelly beans in the jar? That would change the number of beans. You're trying to outfox me? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh. I'm just trying to uh, uh, get an exact count. Oh, well, well, here, Courtney, have one of these. Did those come from the same batch that these in the jar did? Yeah, yeah, they were getting old and hard, so it was either throw them away or... Or have a count the beans contest. That's right, by your money. Cheers. Mm. Hard as a... Rock. you notice something strange about Mr. Sanders? No, what? Well, it's every time we go in there. You know what? The mice were looking really stressed out in the sun, so I put them in the shade, but you better take them this water. Oh, no! I hope they're all right! <sighs> Hold on, kitties. I've got some cooling refreshments on the way. What's that? What are you trying to tell me? Uh-huh, Geraldine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't say. Well, honey bunny, we can't be a wheel hog. We have to share. Can't we all just get along? I wonder what it'd be like if no one cared enough to take care of me. Here they cut up fruit and vegetables for the mice. Oh, thank you. You poor little guys. I nearly cooked you to death. What a rotten alien exchange pet dad I am. You know, I have to start doing a better job. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Corny, because you need to be responsible for your own things. And plus, you've made a commitment to take care of Mr. Springfield's pets. You're right. From now on, I'm going to officially start taking care of my stuff. Does that go for my stuff, too? That goes double for your stuff, Earth Brother. I'll have to see it to believe it. Oh, you'll see. I'll remember to do everything. Hello? Did you remember this? Almost everything. Boy, Grandpa was right. Taking care of pets is a big responsibility. Hey, John! Can you help me clean this out? Taking care of something is a lot harder than I thought. Kate almost dropped it a couple times, and I put it in a spot where it could have gotten messed up. Like a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I learned that taking care of something means you have to be responsible. Yeah, I had to keep it away from my little brother. He would have broken it for sure. <laughs> At first, I thought this project was lame. Then I started being a little tapped to the leg. That's why I'm going to keep it. Hey, I thought you said that I was going to keep it. Why? When your shift was over, you can't wait to get rid of it. Well, well it's... Uh, Kate, no, you hey, said John. I no, John, Kate, Kate, listen. I think that you did an excellent job of taking responsibility for your egg and sharing it. And I'm sure that in the future, you will continue to do just that. Okay, I'm done. Corny, why don't you come up here and tell us a little something about your project? I learned about taking care of mice. They're very interesting, and they're very friendly. Uh, they squeak a lot, they eat a lot, they drink a lot, and they make a big mess. Kind of like me. <laughs> I learned that I'm responsible for taking care of these pets. I'm responsible for feeding them, giving them water, and making sure their home is nice and clean. If I do that, I'll end up with two happy pets. Corny! Corny? 
John, you're not going to believe this. Hi, Mr. Springfield. Hey, Corny. How's it going? Well, I'm afraid you don't have Geraldine anymore. Oh, no. And she was so special. We spent all that time training her. Hey, there are two mice in here. That's because Geraldine is really Gerald, and Honey Bunny is a mom. John was right. Two mouses do make mice. Five, <laughs> to be exact. They're in the castle that Grandpa built. Oh, Gordon, you don't know how happy you've made me. Hey, now we've got a circus family like the Flying Wallenders. How about the Springfield Leaping Mice? No. Mm, uh, well, I'll just have to think about it. But it's great! I mean, Geraldine, I mean, Gerald and Honey Bunny can teach them all the tricks they know. I guess. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, Cordy, you did such a great job taking care of the mice. Here's the money I promised you. And remember, free tickets to the circus when it opens. Thanks, Mr. Springfield. See you later. Hmm. Humans sure are odd, but they sure are nice. Time to buy a skateboard. Jawohl, Herr Wassler. Yeah, I filled your order and it's on its way to you even as we speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danke. Corny, what are you going to do with all your money? Gee, Mr. Sanders, I only have $20. I don't even have enough to buy the skateboard I want. $20? You, you mean you have not heard? You won the contest. You picked the number of beans exactly. There were 1,950 in the jar. <clears throat> the next time I have a contest, somebody else is going to count the beans. You know what a pain it is to count 1,950... I won! I won the contest! I thought you knew. I, I, I called your house and I told John's mom. Holy Zarkaroni! I won! Yes! <laughs> hey. What's wrong? Well, it's just that sometimes when John and I come in here, you have one accent. And then the next time we come in, you have another accent. I know sort of bizarre yeah. but we have a lot of people who are here that live from other countries and so I know they like to be reminded of where they came from so when I talk to them I talk in their accent I'd like them to feel like they're a little bit at home well gee that's awfully nice of you Mr. Sanders maybe someday I learn the Zarkon accent Zarkers hey I won the contest I won the contest now I have enough money to buy the skateboard I want but wait I'll take both of them. That's very interesting. You were right, Grandpa. Yes, that was a pretty smooth move that I gave John, even if I have to say so myself. Kidding me. No, no. I mean about putting on the mouse's shoes. I figured out how to do it. It's something in here. It helps you to imagine what it's like to be in somebody else's place. It gives you a whole other way of looking at things. Oh, I'm very proud of you for figuring that out, Corny. Hey, Mom, can we go skateboarding? Corny needs a lot of practice. Oh, no, it's time for you two to go to bed. Hey, no problem. I'll just zap to a park and I can practice before bed. <laughs> You know something? Instead of just talking about it, I should do something. It's your responsibility to put your things away. It's your responsibility to do the things you say. If you're going to do a job, you have to follow through. It's your responsibility to do the things you say you're gonna do. If you're going to help out a neighbor or a friend, it's up to you to see it through each day until the end and if you borrow something remember it's alone treat it with the best of care better than your own it's your responsibility to put your things away it's your responsibility to do the things you say
going to do a job, you have to follow through. It's your responsibility to do the things you say you're gonna do. Take care of what belongs to you and do it every day. Show you are responsible. Everybody makes mistakes, don't try to hide the truth Show your friends you'll do your best, and they'll depend on you It's your responsibility to put your things away It's your responsibility to do the things you say going to do a job, you have to follow through. It's your responsibility to do the things you say you're gonna do. Show you can be trusted, friends will count on you. Growing up is not so hard to do. Responsibility to put your things away. It's your responsibility to do the things you say.